Hello, this is George URI recording for ICIT. In this week's Microsoft Office Feature of the Week podcast, we're going to look at how you can navigate better through long documents in Microsoft Word. So let's get started. I have a document here, which I will open. And as you can see, it's a document that has illustrations and text, and it spans multiple pages. I need to make some edits, and it would be nice if I could move around my document much more easily than scrolling back and forth. I need to add some comments to different parts of the text, uh, make some corrections, delete some text. So scrolling around back and forth may not be the best way to move. Um, so what are my options? Well, first of all, if you look at the bottom of your Microsoft Office screen, bottom left, it shows us that we have that we are on one of 14 pages. So it's a fairly long document, not very long, but fairly long. It would be nice if I could jump from page one to page seven and then perhaps back to page two and so on. Um, one option that we have, and it's a very good option, is to use the document map and document thumbnails for moving around in long documents. How do you do that? Well, first of all, let's go on our ribbon to the view tab and right here, show hide gives us several options. If we're formatting your document, ruler and grid lines might be practical, but in our case, for long documents, we will choose document map. As you can see, document map displays a list of the headings in our document, and if I click on any of them, I can jump there directly. So we have sections and we have subsections, and we can also collapse or expand these sections. So if you have too many and that would require scrolling, you can actually collapse a collection of sections and that should make it easier to navigate. Now, why are those sections here? Do they appear automatically? Well, no. In this document, if you look at our main page, we have certain areas that are formatted in a different color. That should be a clue to us that this document has been formatted with Microsoft Word styles. In this case, heading styles. Which styles are they and how do I find out? Well, let's go back to our home tab on our ribbon. And right here in the styles section, instead of choosing any of the styles, I will select this tiny square icon in the corner. Click and it brings up the styles dialog or the styles palette. Now if I click in real word Spanish, it shows me that this is heading two. And if I choose Argentina, it shows me it's heading two as well. But if I scroll down and actually choose and click in the middle of Buenos Aires, it will show me that this is heading three. So yes, all of the sections of this document have been tagged with heading styles that are available in Microsoft Word as a default. So those headings will appear in your styles panel when you start a new document or any other document you will open. And that makes it easy to move around. This is not the only way to move around. Um, actually, if you think this takes too much space, you can hover your mouse between the two areas, click and drag, and this way you will have more space for the document and less space occupied by the document map. So that's the document map for moving around. Sometimes, especially in a document like this one, which is highly visual, it has illustrations, perhaps you might also have some charts or graphs, we have another option. If we go back to our view tab, we will see the document map is followed by thumbnails. I will click and our left panel or left pane has switched and now is showing me the thumbnails of each one of the pages. When you click on the page, your insertion point, the cursor, is always located on top of the first line of the page that you select. So if I click on page two, my cursor is automatically placed immediately at the top of page two. This is slightly different because if you click in the document map, the insertion point is at the beginning of the section with appropriate title. Let me go back there and I will 
choose Barcelona, which as you can see is not at the very top of the page. And since I selected Barcelona, my insertion point is right before this section. The same would happen if I clicked Bilbao, which is misspelled, so we'll correct it. And as you can see, any changes I make immediately get reflected in the structure of my document map on the left. So if I add it here, going to Bilbao, this immediately is reflected in my document map on the left. The nice thing about document map is that you can use it either from document map to jump around, or you can use it the other way around. You can be anywhere in your document, and if you click, the document map is going to show you exactly in which section you are. So if you scroll and get lost in your document, just click and it will show you which section and which part of your document you're in. Now, switching between document map and thumbnails is possible by using the View tab, but if you are in the Home tab because you use those formatting features that appear here, you also have a choice of switching right here. So you can click and switch to thumbnails or click and switch back to document map. Okay, now what happens with a document which is not formatted with headings just like this one? Is a document map useful for that also? Let's have a quick look. I will close this document. I will select close. I will not save any changes. And I have another document which is not really formatted. It's plain text, so it opened in um, my notepad. I will select all this text, click in the middle of the text, Control A and Control C to copy that. I will go back to Word, select the Office button, and select New, Enter to create a completely new document. I will first switch to Document Map. And as you can see, in a new document, Document Map is blank. There is nothing here. Let's paste some text, Control V. It pasted some text, but of course, the areas in the text are not marked by headings, so Microsoft Word doesn't put anything, or doesn't it? Well, let's switch to thumbnails and back to document map. And wait, Microsoft Word now inserted what it thought would be different sections in my document. How does it do that? Well, if you look exactly, some of the words are separate on a separate line. Microsoft Word assumes that if you have just a few words that are by themselves a paragraph, you probably intended or will in the future make them into a heading. So it goes through your document even if it has not been formatted with appropriate headings and then it assumes these would be headings and puts them in a tentative document map. So I could actually select Guadalajara and click on Heading 2, because that's what it is. And I could um, go to Mexico and make it Heading 1, and so on. Guanajuato is also in Mexico, Heading 2. And I could get organized and then save the document. Now, unfortunately, if you don't have a visual document like this one, which does not have any illustrations or big graphics, uh, thumbnails are less useful simply because all the pages look alike. But you can still very quickly jump between different pages using this separate view. That's it for this week. So in this week's Microsoft Office Feature of the Week podcast, we learned how you can use the document map and the thumbnails feature to move around your long documents, both if they're formatted with Microsoft heading styles and even if they're simple continuous text and has not been previously formatted. That's all for this week, and I hope you will join me next week for another episode of Microsoft Office Feature of the Week podcast. I'm George Ura, recording for ICIT. Goodbye.